Julia, aka The Mug Life. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I'm really glad to have you. I am a brand new channel just starting out of crafting and creating things, and I hope to inspire you to create something for your home on a super small budget. Um, today, I'm actually participating in a open collab. It's Fall Farmhouse, and my take on it is more of a twist an eclectic style, which is my personal style. So if you do like a traditional farmhouse, I would say just mix and match those brighter colors that I use for more neutral tones and it'll be perfect for your house. There are two posts in this challenge. It's Happily Thriving Heidi, which I will have her channel linked down below, and Holly Living It Country. So if you haven't checked out those channels, I would say definitely go check them out. They're really awesome and fun to watch. And I hope you guys will like my two takes on this a little bit different traditional country farmhouse. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time. So we're going to dive right into our first farmhouse project. If you don't prefer what I do, you can substitute all of my brighter colors with more neutral tones that you use in your home decor. So I had this pumpkin um, little wooden die cut piece um, and it has like this little center part and I thought it would have been perfect with this Hobby Lobby piece that I bought on clearance um, way back in my first Hobby Lobby haul and I decided to paint the pumpkin purple, dry brush it with some accent colors and I also painted my gather sign uh, two coats of a white paint and then I also right here did a dry brush wood grain effect using a gold and a burnt umber right over top. And now that my purple pumpkin was all dry, I hot glued the entire back of it and attached it to my gather sign. I also used popsicle sticks on the bottom of the gather sign to raise it to the same level as the pumpkin. I then began to fill the pumpkin with different feathers and greenery and leaves that I had left over. If I would say anything about the cohesiveness of my raffia obsession this fall is I've actually learned quite a few really cool things about raffia. If you actually dampen it or wet it just a little bit, it becomes a lot more moldable to make your bows. It doesn't um, have those little stiff corners and edges, it just makes it super flowy. So that is one awesome tip I have for you guys. And another one, if you don't like the tan raffia, Dollar Tree sells different color raffia, so you can get it in a different color or you can even paint it and it soaks up the paint perfectly. Now, my second project, I am actually making a recycled project. This one, I'm using an old oatmeal can and some aluminum foil pans that I had left over from a previous project. You could also use aluminum if uh, that's what you have, or tin foil if that's what you have laying around the house. And then I took two Dollar Tree um, plastic bowls. And this is actually metal handles from another Dollar Tree project that I had taken off that I had kept. So what I did was I just hot glued the metal around the form and glued the two bowls together. And I even added the little bit of side trim because I really liked how it was textured all around the top. And then I pushed in round thumbtacks all the way in just to give it even more texture to make it look like a real milk jug. And I wanted my milk jug to look really, really old and aged. And because I crinkled up the foil, the paint only gets and shows through different colors at different portions. You don't have to do it this way. I have seen several different YouTubers do amazing tutorials on galvanized metal, but I wanted mine to look a little bit more weathered and aged. So I added some brown accents, a few gold pieces, and even my favorite part to add rust is you have Maj Paj, Mod Paj, and then you sprinkle cinnamon over top to give it the textured rust effect.
And here is how my project turned out. I absolutely love my milk jug. This one, I wanted a smaller version of my old vintage milk jug I have in my front yard. This one I'm actually going to be displaying in my front entryway of my home. Just haven't put it there yet, but I absolutely loved how it turned out. It looks amazing with all of the details and the textures in and around. And here's my other project, which was a Hobby Lobby upcycle project with Dollar Tree Flare. And I just added a few little pieces here and there, and I absolutely love it. This is actually going to go in my kitchen, and it's really going to combine and be a cohesive piece in my open concept house. I really hope you guys liked my farmhouse take, and I hope you will subscribe, like, and comment below. See you next time.